So uh, this is two different things. Once I can um, import the Cinema 4D file natively, as we see here, so I can read the C4D file, do a direct import, and if I open it, it looks exactly like it does in Cinema 4D. So no need to convert uh, or to export from Cinema 4D the file. Uh, you don't need to uh, synchronize multiple versions. So uh, this is one um, really nice function for the designers uh, that speeds up our workflow. Then on the other hand, we have um, integrated the live link. And uh, usually when you have uh, to adjust the, uh, uh, the objects or to the camera framing with your director, you have the tracked camera connected, uh, you have the talent inside the studio, and you have a uh, camera guy working. Um, but if I need to move uh, elements, material, like as an example, the left part over here, if I need to move this into a new position, I always need to go into edit mode from this artist. That means I always stop the whole crew from working until I have my edit finished, and then I uh, hand it over to them and they can work on air. And on the other hand, uh, the problem is when I'm moving uh, the elements over here, I might realize, because in this case I'm working with a baked model, uh, so I'm uh, having the light and the shadows completely baked, uh, I need to know the new positions that I can do the rebaking uh, for the movements, which is a little bit difficult because by uh, importing the uh, Cinema 4D file or importing files in general uh, inside uh, the VizArtist, we optimize these files into real-time format. So this is one of the reasons why we're not able to export this file again. So you as a designer, it's a bit difficult to find uh, unless you have exactly the same coordinate system in your 3D application to find the right positions again. So uh, for this one, uh, for this function, we introduced the Cinema 4D Live Link. For that reason, I just need to switch uh, this system here on air with this artist, and then I will switch over to my laptop where I work with uh, Cinema 4D. With the Cinema Live Link, uh, we designers are very flexible because we can uh, keep the uh, this artist system in honor mode. Uh, I can have the director working with the talent and uh, the camera guy working with the tracked camera and I still can influence uh, the geometries, uh, move the geometries and uh, do the camera framing actively. And uh, the second advantage for me is I have accurate positions. So if I need to do the, the, the baking afterwards again, I uh, have exactly the positioning uh, done inside cinema instead of uh, doing it inside this and trying to uh, copy this uh, repositioning uh, back to my uh, 3D application. So inside cinema, we have the option and uh, use a uh, little plugin inside the tech folder, you find the VizRT uh, real-time tech. Uh, by applying this tag, I just need to enter the IP address of my um, engine. So I just enter here. Or even the machine name uh, would work as well. So um, I'm connecting uh, now Cinema to the engine. I go in on air preview mode. And um, during the camera, the track camera is working with the uh, director. I can now come in and uh, choose whatever element it is. If I need to reposition the table because uh, the framing is not correct for uh, the camera position right now, we do the framing and here we see the problem. The shadow is packed, so uh, the old shadow stays on the floor, but no problem, we can ignore this. Uh, we do the framing first and then we do the rebaking of these textures again. So I can grab any um, object directly in here and uh, remotely control it on the Viz engine, as we see now. But uh, that's not enough because I, as the designer, might work from a different perspective uh, than uh, the director does. So uh, inside cinema, I can easily switch the camera and uh, just uh, switch my fuse.